Colorado and the way we do things, we are a model for the rest of the country. We don't just talk about our plans for the future, we build them. Denver Union Station, the Fast Track program are two major examples of what sets Colorado and Denver apart from the rest of the country. RTD hired Parsons Brinkerhoff in April 2002 to do a lot of our environmental work and they were also instrumental in putting together the master plan for all of Union Station. And that involved over 98 special interest groups that had to come to consensus before we were to move forward with design and construction. Working with Parsons Brinkerhoff, we were uh, working with Eric Anderson, one of the chief planners, and also with Laura Aldredi on the planning effort. And they and their staff were instrumental in when we were preparing all the environmental documents so that we could move forward with uh, design and construction. The Denver Union Station Transit Center is the redevelopment and expansion of Denver's historic transit facility. It serves as the hub for the regional rail system and connecting transit elements. The five specific transit elements are commuter rail, light rail, bus, 16th Street Mall shuttle, and the free Metro Ride Circulator. The transit elements were developed in a four by two block district that intersperses private development and beautiful public spaces. With the parsons Brinkerhoff placemaking group at the helm of the master planning process, it ensured that memorable places would be created, that effective transit connections would be made, and that transit would be integrated into the city and into people's daily lives. The planning for Denver Union Station really started over 30 years ago with the planning of the Central Platte Valley. Through strong administrations and a lot of dedicated community folks, the plan has held together and we now have Denver Union Station as the hub for the entire Denver region. One of the elements that really made the project successful was a very intensive public process that we used to get the master plan approved. We met with over 90 people every three weeks to go through the myriad of options and design discussions that are needed to make the, the plan successful. With the completion of planning and 30% design by Parsons Brinkerhoff and moving into implementation, the next step was the creation of the Denver Union Station Project Authority Board. I have served at the leisure of the mayor on that board and its purpose is to oversee the finance and construction of the Denver Union Station project itself. As of the grand opening of the Denver Union Station, there are over 15 projects in the surrounding blocks to the station itself that are either completed construction, under development, or under design. This represents up to $996 million worth of private sector investment into the surrounding area and the district, the transit district itself, that is realized because of this $500 million investment that was made by the public sector. So we can see this great leverage of public investment dollars, um, totaling $500 million into now $996 million, almost a billion dollars worth of private sector development. These are numbers that we estimated in the planning stages to be able to reach in the year 2019. And here we are in 2014, having already exceeded the numbers that were projected.